This product demonstration will follow the ransomware fight back path of two application virtual machines, Saturn and Apollo, in our demonstration environment. Both VMs have been instrumented with Carbon Black Cloud and VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery Solutions. In this example, the Saturn VM will get infected and we will be able to respond based on Carbon Black Intercept and Remediation. The second, Apollo VM, is not so lucky and will need to invoke a disaster recovery option to get back into service after not being able to simply recover in place. The demonstration will follow their fight back paths to a clean operational status in the original production data center site. Before we begin processing these two different application VMs, Apollo and Saturn, let's review the environment where they currently operate. These VMs currently run in an on-prem vCenter called Demo Site Prod, along with many other VMs, and are placed in a folder called Spaceflight. Both of these VMs have had the Carbon Black Cloud endpoint software installed and are being actively monitored by Carbon Black Cloud, as we can see in the Carbon Black Cloud dashboard. Both of these VMs have also been configured into VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery. In particular, the on-prem vCenter, where they run, has been configured into a protected site called Data Center Site 1, which we can see on the VMware Cloud DR Orchestrator Dashboard Topology View. Within this protected site, there are several protection group policies defined for various parts of the vCenter inventory. For this example, we have the protection groups for each VM, named Spaceflight Apollo and Spaceflight Saturn as well as a combined protection group for general spaceflight that contains them both. For this demonstration, we have also deployed a VMware Cloud on AWS SDDC to act as our isolated recovery environment should we need that to help respond to a ransomware incident that would require rollback recovery, failover and failback, to get to an operational state again. This SDDC has an empty space folder as well as a quarantine folder if needed. All of these pieces we just reviewed are part of the preparation steps needed when conducting the identify and prevent stages of the ransomware workflows we just presented. With this framework in place, we can explore how to deal with ransomware with Carbon Black Cloud and VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery. Let's begin with an overview of Carbon Black Cloud and a closer look at the scenario facing the Saturn VM. The VMware Carbon Black Cloud is a security solution suite comprised of the following products that may be used together or alone with a single lightweight agent and cloud-based console. Endpoint Standard is our next generation antivirus and endpoint detection and response solution. Carbon Black Endpoint Standard provides multiple layers of prevention to prevent and detect a variety of attacks such as known malware, non-malware, and fileless attacks. Enterprise EDR enables advanced threat hunting with our out-of-the-box watch list curated by Carbon Black and third parties like MITRE, as well as the capabilities for creating and tracking customized indicators of compromise. Auto remediation allows admins to gather current state information across software, hardware, and network variables all at scale across your environment, leveraging OS query schema. One of the biggest concerns we see in the security space is ransomware, for good reason because of how costly and destructive this type of attack can be. Ransomware such as Ryuk and Conti will attempt to distribute across the network and encrypt or destroy data for maximum impact. In recent years, ransomware has shown a drastic increase in both commonality and the level of destruction on user systems. This stage is often detrimental. In this demonstration, we'll be going through the stages of the ransomware attack cycle, preventing the attack on one machine while destroying and recovering on another. Apollo and Saturn are two Windows Server endpoints. On Saturn, we have our Carbon Black Cloud Next Generation AV and EDR solution deployed with prevention enabled. Policies define the rules for how things can behave in an environment. Saturn is using one of the out-of-the-box policies, standard, which gives additional levels of behavioral-based prevention while limiting false positives. It's meant to act as a day one policy. This standard policy includes behavioral-based ransomware prevention capabilities. The Carbon Black agent is also deployed on Apollo. 
Unlike Saturn, however, Apollo will be in the monitored policy group to demonstrate a successful attack. The monitored policy group has no preventative rules enabled. Embedded in PowerShell, we have stripped the ransomware signature from this binary in order to highlight behavioral-based ransomware protection. This will imitate the situation of something like a zero-day ransomware attack. Let's run the attack. Notice that prevention was applied uh, based on the pop-up in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. We've identified that malicious behavior is attempting to execute and prevented the malicious actions from occurring. We will now pivot back to the Carbon Black Cloud console to review information about the attack we just ran. The alerts page shows events related to attacks and potentially suspicious or malicious activity. The alert will show a high-level overview of the reason for the alert, what device it occurred on, as well as the severity score, which acts as a prioritization assistant. Through our native AMSI scripting integration, Carbon Black Cloud is uniquely able to analyze and prevent scripts prior to allowing the binary to execute in your environment, ultimately reducing your overall risk. Even while applying prevention, administrators can still get visibility into what an attacker or attack was attempting to do. We can click into our alert triage for more details. This shows a visual representation of what occurred during the attack sequence. Each node can be clicked into for additional details on the right-hand side. Note that we can look at some of those ransomware-like behaviors that PowerShell was going to exhibit in this case, including data to instruction, data encryption, and so forth. Beyond our AMSI scripting integration, Carbon Black has robust ransomware preventative capabilities. The Carbon Black Next Gen AV and EDR solution can detect and prevent upon behaviors associated with ransomware. Those behaviors include detecting and preventing access to the master boot record, modification of volume shadow copies, and of course, the encryption of data. Additionally, alongside the Carbon Black agent, we deploy canary or decoy files to track and kill processes attempting to encrypt, modify, or delete our files. We can apply prevention to anything exhibiting those behaviors, even something that has been not listed or never seen before, like a zero-day attack. Now that we have prevented the attack on Saturn, let's see what the attack would look like if it successfully ran on Apollo. Now that the Saturn application VM ransomware event has been successfully responded to, we switch our focus to the Apollo application VM. Unlike Saturn, Apollo has no preventative rules enabled. This will allow the attack to run, compromising the endpoint. You can see here that the malicious script is allowed to run. The attack now starts encrypting our endpoint. The attacker has reached that execution and exfiltration phase of the attack cycle, executing on their goal, which may be encrypting data for ransom, data destruction, or even exfiltrating the data for blackmail, uh, among any number of other malicious goals. In this case, we have failed to identify, prevent, or detect the attack and need to move forward in the protection cycle to response and recovery. And this is where VCDR can come in. Carbon Black separates detection and prevention even in the endpoint standard next gen AV and EDR solution. What I mean by this is that we can see all events that occur, even benign or initially benign ones. Events are stored on the cloud backend for 30 days out of the box. So you essentially have a 30 day recording of everything that occurred in your environment. Going back to our alerts, uh, this attack came from a file called ransomware artifacts. Let's go back over to that investigate page we were on where we can search across all the events and see what we can find. We know that Apollo is still in a bad state. So using this investigate page, we can find exactly when this first appeared and know of a good place to restore to with the VCDR solution. Let's filter down further to Apollo to see exactly when this specific endpoint, this particular uh, file arrived. And it looks like it first came August 21st at around 6.30 p.m. Uh, we only rolled back to the 22nd. So based on this, we know of a good time to roll back to. If I want to even get some further information uh, with our enterprise EDR, the threat hunting solution, I can look at the process tree of what occurred during this time. This process tree can give me some additional information on what occurred during this event. And it looks like this particular malicious file was downloaded from Chrome. 
I can even look down at the log events and search through them. Let's just search for ransomware here because we know what that file is named. Uh, and I can see that, yep, this is where it was downloaded from. This can really help me out with the investigation process and know when we need to roll back to with VCDR. The DR team has been notified that a particular application VM, Apollo, has been compromised with ransomware and cannot be repaired through available Carbon Black cloud methods. From the Carbon Black analysis, we are asked to restore the VM to a recovery point prior to the infection date. A brief inspection of the target VM desktop shows the ransomware artifacts folder, a clear indication of problems. We start the recovery by powering off the VM at the source protected site. This will eliminate any confusion in Carbon Black Cloud when the VM reappears in the DR site SDDC. Then we shift over to the VMware Cloud DR Orchestrator dashboard and navigate and select the appropriate DR plan for this case, Space Ransomware Apollo. We see that the DR plan is in a ready state and recent compliance checks are passed. We begin the failover process and select the desired previous snapshot recovery point based on the information obtained from the initial carbon black efforts. A few more clicks through the DR plan steps and the virtual machine will begin recovery into the DR site. In the DR plan details, we have chosen to bring the VM into inventory and not power it on until we have had a chance to check conditions. The DR plan also has a user input step included as a checkpoint for us to use when performing the recovery. This is where we can power on the virtual machine before the plan has completed all of its other steps. Once the VM is powered on, we will check to see if the Telltale Ransomware Artifacts folder is on the desktop. As we can see, this previous recovery point of the Apollo VM is not compromised. And we can proceed with the rest of the Respond Recover actions. This instance of the VM will connect to Carbon Black Cloud, and we can verify this by looking at the specific VM workload details. Any additional ransomware remediation tasks can be performed on this VM while it is in the isolated recovery environment, SDDC. If needed, this VM could be placed into service from the SDDC while other site-related ransomware recovery tasks are conducted. Once the failover task is completed by the orchestrator, we will need to confirm the actions and commit the plan. This will give us a runbook report in our inventory that records the detailed steps of the failover actions that we can download and share or put on file. Once satisfied that the affected virtual machine, Apollo, is ready to return to the original production site, we will prepare the failback process. We start the final steps by selecting the DR plan we used to failover to the SDDC and then duplicate and reverse the direction of the plan. Switching over to this failback plan, called Failback Space Ransomware Apollo, we see that the initial compliance has automatically started. As soon as we see compliance has passed, we then start the failover from VMC task by clicking through the confirmations of the failback plan. At this point, the VMware Cloud DR Orchestrator will begin the orderly transition of the specified workloads, the Apollo VM, from the SDDC IRE back to the original protected site. Once the failback steps are complete, we can check on the conditions for the Apollo application VM. We power on the VM and check the desktop status and proper connection back to Carbon Black Cloud for continued ransomware defense.
In this demonstration, we saw that ransomware attacks can be handled in various ways through the resiliency life cycle of identify, prevent, detect, respond, and recover. In one case, the system used to detect and respond, Carbon Black Cloud, was able to prevent a complete disaster for one of our application VMs, Saturn. In the second case, we called upon VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery to help with the respond and recover steps and bring an instance back online from a previous time that could be successfully put back into service. This was Apollo. This concludes the demonstration of a simulated ransomware attack and response and recovery, using two VMware solutions together to provide a better chance of fighting back whatever flight path your application VMs may encounter.